Good day everyone. This is Pranav, your Western music teacher, and I am back with again a lesson. So what we practiced in previous lesson is we <coughs> discussed few things about your fretting hands and how to place them over your fretboard and how to hold the neck, and also we got to know about the proper names that are used to call out these fingers of your right hand in the Western music uh, system. Western music system or Western music theory. Now, today we will take it a little bit further and we will start accessing these frets with our fretting hands. And in this lesson, we'll be using a guitar plectrum. So, if you don't have one, I request you all to please go and purchase one. Uh, obviously, after the lockdown, because right now nobody can get out of their homes. So, if you have one of those lying around, then please use these in your practice sessions. So, <coughs> If uh, you remember in uh, the first lesson, I told you how to hold the pick properly. So I'll be revising that lesson. Uh, so how do you do that is you just take your right hand, you bend your index finger and you place your thumb over it and then you slip the plectrum in between. So this is the uh, generally the right way to hold a guitar pick. So this is how you do it and you will be placing your picking hand over the strings like this not like this and not like this and not in any awkward position which is feeling very unnatural to you so because if you uh, loosen up your right hand completely and if you do not put any stress or any tension then you would experience that uh, the natural position of your hand is like this so just keep it natural just place that right picking hand over the strings like this don't uh, just lean over too much and don't Put it back too much so that you feel any difficulty while picking the strings. Now, uh, if you talk about the uh, fretting hand, left fretting hand. So, if you remember in my previous lesson, I told you how to hold the neck properly. So, you just what you do, you place your thumb over the neck, uh, uh, right uh, over the symmetry of the neck, or right over where the neck can be bisected in two parts. So, just place your thumb over somewhat at this point. And now you will get ample amount of headroom uh, between your fingers and the strings. So it will be very comfortable for you to play that way. Now, uh, what you have to do is first of all, you will also have to practice the picking. How you have to pick uh, is one thing that you have to keep in your mind. So you have to do uh, this thing which is known as the alternate picking. Now what is alternate is that strokes are not uniform, they are alternating between the down stroke and the up stroke, what we call in the western music. So what is a down stroke is you pick the strings by pressing the pick against the strings downwards, like this. This is your down stroke and this is your up stroke. I am over emphasizing by showing you but this is not exactly how you have to do it. This, uh, you do not have to exaggerate your moments, movements. So you have to just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You just have to uh, do the alternate picking like this. So your first practice routine will be just place your fretting hand over the strings and make them completely dead. They should not be producing any kind of sound other than this percussive sound and not this. Just place your fingers over them and they should be resting over the strings, not putting any amount of pressure on the strings. So in that uh, in that order, the strings will be dead and they will not be producing any sound. So what you have to do is just take the thickest most string and practice your alternate picking like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you do not have to over -exag exaggerate or over emphasize the movements like one, two, no, don't do that. Uh, what will happen is you will lose the accuracy in picking each and every in, uh, strings. So if you uh, you will f face this problem when you will be jumping from one string to the other. Uh, so if you over exaggerate movements, you will find it very hard to accurately pick uh, the strings that are laid down across uh, from each other. So <clears throat> what you have to do is just pick one string, six string, for example in this case, and you just uh, start start picking it right? down. Up, down, up. 
you can also refer to a metronome app that you can easily find on play store so what what will it do it it will give you a constant click or a tempo so it will help you in uh, practicing your picking in a perfect synchronized order and you'll be able to play each and everything in time if you practice along with it so you can just look it up on play store type metronome m e t r o n o m e that's the spelling so it will you just you can just install any app that is visible on play store and just set up the bpm that is beats per minute so beats per minute is how many clicks are being played per minute so for example if you are practicing uh, at the speed of a clock like 60 bpm so uh, there will be 60 clicks per minute so if you find it faster for you you can just slow it down and you can just set the number to 40 or 30 or 50 according to your comfort zone so you can set it to whatever speed you are comfortable with and just practice one stroke at a time so like uh, if the tick is going 1 2 3 4 for the speed is like this then you will practice like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight remember to uh, remember to uh, play keep uh, placing your fingers your uh, fingers of your fretting hand over the strings so that they are muted so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 now you have to keep counting along with the tick if you miss it then you are completely missing out the point uh, of uh, playing in time so this day you will practice your picking and you will uh, be practicing it how to play it in time with the speed and with the given uh, tempo tempo is uh, equivalent of speed that is the term used in lesson music so this is the first exercise that you uh, kids will have to do at your homes so it's simple enough it's not very tricky so keep practicing this so in next lesson we'll be continuing from this point only and we'll obviously doing a revision of this exercise plus we'll adding some elements to this and if you like this lesson then please like and subscribe and share this content among other students as well and if you have any doubts then do mention those doubts in the comment sections and uh, i'll be replying to those doubts so during this long utilize it in learning as much as you can so happy learning